Всем привет! Hello everybody! Today we're going to read one poem from this very book. This is the author of all the poems who, which are here is Samuel Marshak. Автор всех стихотворений, которые здесь есть, Самуил Маршак. So what's here of publishing all this book? It's okay, not just take the thing away. So the year of publishing is just by the way, see how beautiful and pretty birds are here. Какие миленькие хорошие птички. So the year is nineteen sixty-six as and also as was in the last video. Uh На русском языке этот год звучит 1966. Издательство Советская Россия, Москва, 1966 год. Тысяча, это thousand nine hundred sixty sixth sixth year. So just that you got it. 1966 год. So the book is. Самый маршак стихи для детей. So Samuel Marshak, poems for children or poetry for for children. And we will not start from the beginning of this book. We will start right from the middle. By the way, see how beautiful and pretty illustrations are here. They're pretty nice. And where is exactly the one that I wanted to show you? Exactly that one is here. And that one is here, and it is called единица. So one, so zero and one, zero and one. So the one is the num the name of number one. Just uh, if we are just saying uh, one, two, three, four, it will be один, два, три, четыре, один, два, три, четыре. But for example, if we just say a the, n- the number solely, just we are just stating the number, it will be ноль, единица, двойка, тройка, четверка, пятерка, и так далее. And etc. And so just that, let's read the poem. It's uh, from the book Bunny Counting, we saw shot. And let's read the poem itself. Вот это ноль или ничего. Послушай сказку про него. Сказал веселый круглый ноль, соседки единицы. С тобой рядышком позволь стоять мне на странице. Она окинула его сердитым, гордым взглядом. Ты, ноль, не стоишь ничего. Не стой со мною рядом. Ответил ноль, я признаю, что ничего не стою. Но можешь стать ты десятью, коль буду я с тобою. And so that's... The, one, the first part of this poem, there is the further text. And there, just not very, very big. Let's look here. Wait. So let's just analyze this very part. So just again, the zero and the one. Вот это ноль или ничего, послушай сказку про него. This is zero or nothing. Listen to... Listen... Or hear the story about him. So zero is uh, of masculine gender in Russian. Null. Null is masculine. Is masculine in Russian. So per nivo, it's about it, about zero. Сказал веселый круглый ноль соседке единицы. С тобою рядышком позволь стоять мне на странице. So sad, happy, round, zero, two, just two. Соседки. Соседки. So but by this year, in here and in here, we understand that two. Two, the, the like feminine uh, сосед, сосед. Сосед is a neighbor. And соседка. So with this ка. Suffix uh, or postfix is a feminine noun of соседка. is a feminative, so to say. Uh, two. The neighbor, the one. So the, the one is to the number one. С тобой рядышком позволь стоять мне на странице. So we, uh, I will just translate word by word. Not correct. It will not sound grammatically correct in English, but anyway. With you near, let 
me stand on the page. So just let me stand with you together on the page. With you near, let stand me on the page. Она окинула его сердитым, гордым взглядом. Ты, Ноль, не стоишь ничего. Не стой со мной рядом. Она окинула его сердитым, гордым взглядом. So she glanced on him. So just, just she окинула его взглядом. It's like to make a glance, but look more like uh, a poetic part. Not, not really part, but it's like a more poetic explanation. I can just grab them, it's more, or just one second, I'll just see it in the dictionary. It's like, take a look, take a look, or throw a look. So she, uh, thrown a look on him, so just above him, over him, with just a very angry, arrogant look, so with a very angry, arrogant look. You, zero, cost nothing. But, but, but again, there is double negation in Russian language. And that's why the, um, the sentence ты не стоишь ничего literally means you don't cost nothing. But it is translated as you cost nothing. It's the same thing as in Spanish, for example. Um... Yo no quiero nada. Yo no quiero nada. То есть, I don't, I don't like, I like nothing. I like nothing. Uh, and in, in here, in, in this Spanish example, also double negation is present, just as in here. Ты ноль не слышишь ничего, so you zero cost nothing. But again, in literal translation is you zero don't cost nothing. It's cost nothing. Don't stay with me. Near, don't st don't stay near me. And by the way, see the how the words are playing, how funny it is. So stoit, stoit is to coast, to coast. S t o i t, make it stoit. And стоять, стоять is to stand. And here, ты нор не стоишь ничего, не стой со мной рядом, не стоишь, стой, стоишь, стой. It's like a, it's a funny thing. Ответил ноль. Я признаю, что ничего не стою. Но можешь стать ты десятью, коль буду я с тобою. So answered, answered the zero. So again, in English, in English word order, it would be uh, zero answered. I admit that I cost nothing. Again, here is double negation. Nothing don't cost. Nothing, not cost. It's like, I cost nothing. I admit that I cost nothing. But you can. So, but you can become ten. You can become ten. Kol is uh, an old variant of if. If. If I will be with, I will be with you. So, budu ya s Will I, will, will be I with you? So let's turn to the next page. By the way, see how pure, pretty illustrations there is. Один кролик, два кролика, три кролика, четыре кролика, десять кроликов, двадцать кроликов, тридцать кроликов, сорок кроликов и сто кроликов. I wonder if somebody will be really counting the rabbits on this page. Так, так одиноко ты сейчас, мала и худощава, но будешь больше в десять раз, когда я стану справа. Напрасно думают, что ноль играет маленькую роль. Мы двойку в двадцать превратим, из троек и четверок мы сможем, если захотим, составить тридцать, сорок. Тридцать, сорок. Тридцать, сорок. Пусть говорят, что мы ничто, с двумя нолями вместе. Из единицы выйдет сто. Из двойки целых двести. А, так одиноко ты сейчас, малая худощава. So lonely you now. So lonely you are now. Small and skinny. Small and um, little. Small and um, 
and very thin so in the terms of like looking very thin not in the into the opponent of, of thick но будешь больше 10 раз когда я стану справа but will be bigger in 10 times more so you will be 10 times more more big when i will stand on the right когда я стану справа Напрасно думают, что ноль играет маленькую роль. Напрасно, напрасно. Means uh, mistakenly. Or uh, it, it just, it is considered to be wrong. Напрасно. So just, I just put it in this dictionary, in this Oxford Russian English and English Russian dictionary. So let's look at it here for the second time. So, напрасно. Напрасно isn't here. It's wrong, unjustly, mistakenly. Несправедливо. So just, it literally is unjustly. Unjustly. Несправедливо. So, справедливо. Is justly. Несправедливо. Unjustly. So, this is un. Unjustly. Unjustly. And so, let's... Continue reading. So just unjustly, everybody thinks that zero plays a small role. We will turn two into twenty from thir uh, like threes, <laughs> like um, like three with s, like like uh, the numbers in the plural. Istroyek i četvorek. From threes and fourths, uh, we can, if we we'll want, we, we will can if we we'll want, we will be able to if we will want, uh, make, just make or create, составить, 30, 40, 30, 30, 40, 40. Пусть говорят, что мы ничто, с двумя нолями вместе. Из единицы выйдет сто, из двойки целых двести. Just uh, let it be said, let, let them say, let, let it be said, that we are nothing, that we nothing, so, so, so we nothing, with two zeros together. Uh, from one comes one hundred, and from two the whole two, two hundred. So the bit is like the whole, the, the, the very two hundred. So the very two hundred. So here again, I just want to pay your attention to very cute illustrations which are present here. They're so cute, very cute and small rabbits. Malinky, malinky, kruliki. I think they're so cute. Anyway, just, just, <laughs> we've analyzed the story words by Samuel Marshak. And here are lots of different poems, poems about Samuel Marshak, and many of them we will read in the next videos. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and like, subscri subscribe to the channel and like this video. Please and share this channel with your friends who are also learning Russian just as you do. I hope that you do. So if you have any questions, you can write me in the comments below. And if you have any just requests on what poem, book, or a short story should I analyze next time, you can also write in the comment. I'm always happy to uh, read from you, to listen from you. So thank you for watching again. Спасибо большое за просмотр. Всего доброго. До следующей встречи. До следующего видео.